yeah, over the years, our podcast is, we still talk about Bitcoin and stuff. Yeah. I mean, right now is probably a good time to talk about it as well because of all the whole macro situation and stuff. But mm-hmm. I feel like we've beaten that horse like crazy. Yeah, not only that, uh, we started the bear, we're back into it. So it's been a full cycle. Yeah, I guess now it's like 100% verified. It's yeah. like, there's no doubting it. There's no debate. Not like, only that, you're you're talking about potential nuclear warfare. Uh, not me. <laughs> I didn't say that. I mean, that's just what's what what's being said by Putin and like all these other you know geopolitical yeah. leaders of the world. Like, yeah. I've never heard the word nuclear being thrown around so like casually. Yeah. Like by like big I mean, time even, leaders. Even Trump has mentioned it a couple Everybody, of times. It's the prevalent conversation right now. Because now I guess I don't know. Maybe. Uh, you're trying to put it in everyone's minds, dude. Like this shit's not like a fairy tale. It could happen at any mm-hmm. moment. You yeah. Know? So and just be prepared, I guess. Yeah, we were talking about different sizes of of war nukes, right? Well, you were like something a little bit more manageable besides destroying the planet. Yeah, something a little more tactical. Yeah. I think they have those. They're like tactical tactical nukes, nukes. right? Yeah, like for battlefield so deployment. Call of Duty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You got to get 50 kills in a row and then Putin can all of a sudden just deploy a tactical yeah. nuke. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's it's scary, but yeah, what's uh, what what's the uh the prognosis on the probability of this threat? Are we Well, you're the one who tells me you say it's zero because of the whole assured mutual destruction type. Well, scenario. I feel like that's when you're using like your full-on nuke. So you're saying there's a scenario or situation where somebody in, in this particular scenario, Putin or the likes of his uh, regime can deploy a nuke and there might be like a non-response. That was like a citywide nuke. I'm not, there won't, there won't be a non-response. The, well, like I a think, retaliation strike. Yeah. You, you send in one tactical nuke and you get like three tactical nukes. From who? From us? The United from somebody. States? Yeah. yeah well, it's got to come from us. It, well, it has to. Why? Well, none of other Ukraine's like allies, I guess, are like nuclear equipped. I mean, maybe like the UK. Yeah. You know? That's just man. They're so, so, they're so close to each other, just hurting each other. Like, yeah, I don't know, but it's just uh, that on top of what's going on, just to, from the economic perspective. Again, tying it all to Bitcoin and stuff. It's it's not even like a Bitcoin discussion at this point. It's uh just all assets it's just across all money. the board. Yeah. There's just mass uncertainty at the moment. It feels eerily reminiscent to like, you know, how it felt during COVID. You're just, nobody knows how bad it can be. You know, mm-hmm. remember when COVID first struck? Mm-hmm. Everybody had their theories like, dude, this is going to like end civilization. Other people were like, dude, it's just the common flu. Yeah. You're overreacting. Quit being a, you know, bitch. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> everyone was torn. So it, that, we're, we're, we're right back in that square. Yeah. Yeah, dude, and we're about to be full on nuclear holocaust. Or yeah, just getting worse. Yeah, or it's nothing, dude. They're not gonna. It's just bluff, you know. Yeah, we're in that same situ- situation right now. I feel like it's. I, I don't know, man. If I if I were a betting man, I think I would call the bluff. But I mean, it's too dangerous to be <laughs> <laughs> betting man with yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I dare you. I dare, I dare you. you. <laughs> yeah. 